Hello folks, this is just a little quick look at a Delta Force style remake that I was very interested in. I'm a big Delta Force fan. If you played those old games, you're probably going to like the look of this. It's called Tip of the Spear Task Force Elite. It's a bit of a mouthful. It's a very daring kind of game to make in 2020 in my opinion. We just take a quick look at how the game works, what it looks like, what it sounds like. Unfortunately, it doesn't have many players. We didn't see any players when I tried it in the morning today, but I can see the potential here. I, I really hope you enjoyed the video, and I really hope this is the Delta Force game that we can all enjoy. So I'll leave you to it. Enjoy. My lord, this menu. God, that's going to be incredibly, insufferably loud, isn't it? Holy smokes. So this is meant to be a Delta Force remake. I would love to save your set. That's very Delta Force-like. Uh, I'm an old man. I'm 30. Delta Force 1 was my proper first FPS. Uh, I loved it. I loved it ever so much. Uh, infinitely tessellated maps. Uh, and people... To make a map, you just put down in-game assets. And there were these huge maps. You had snipers, you had castle wars. You The map files were just a couple of kilobytes because it wasn't like today's maps where there's all unique models and such. You could just plop some crap down in the editor and have a map. And you had some fun ones. You had ones in the sky. You had ones in infinite maps and this game is meant to be like those old shooters like Delta Force so I instantly saw this it was recommended to me and I thought well let's give it a go let's give it a go and I've just fired it up I've turned off the dreadful music and turned the sounds down and yeah here we are and there's no people playing it so it's looking like we're gonna have to play with bots or something so this is my hands-on review of Tip of the Spear Task Force Elite. So I suppose we better hop into settings real quick. Always go into the graphics and options first. Uh, window mode is windowed legitimately, apparently. Okay. V-Sync, yeah, everything's on Epic. Well, more for you, game. Uh, profile? Okay, that's pretty nice. This is made by one man, by the way. Ah, look at the green, like Delta Force. Yeah. <sighs> oh, for... There's a reason I love the M4 with M203. Because of Delta Force, it's childhood nostalgia. Seeing that, I always try and get this exact gun. Honestly, this is big nostalgia for me. Holy smokes, look at that beast of a gun good stuff good stuff right so assault so you all oh, right so you pick kind of like black hawk down back in the day gunner yeah oh we don't have the m249 saw that would lag the servers like back in delta force 2 those that used to play unpatched delta force 2 will know <laughs> the barrett yeah i think the the sniper in delta force 1 and 2 was an m40 in addition to the barrett uh, so we go, but the, I think the M21 was added in Black Hawk Down, I remember that, I do remember. So I'm getting vibes of DF1 and Black Hawk Down here. Uh, da, 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 da. So we've got a few maps. So there's no people playing this. Uh, so if you buy this, it's currently, I'm up early today, it's 9am in the UK. Oh, on the date of uh, the 25th of May 2020, I hope this changes, I hope this game gets players because it sounds good. Let's go play it. It might not play good. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. Delta Force was a dreadful game anyway. Uh, assault. Just a TDM, please. Uh, there was a big Egypt map I kept seeing. It looked phenomenal. Like Delta Force Land Warrior. Let's go. So this is a review for anyone that wants old Delta Force. And they're looking at it on Steam thinking, has it got players? What does it look like? This is this, this is hands-on. We've gone from... I'm Because I'm live streaming... <laughs> so this is a live review and I'm very tired of crotchetes so it's going to be an honest one Task Force Elite, thank you so much uh, look at that, that's yeah 
<laughs> this is my best. This is my best of a person voice. All oh, right, so it's running on Unreal 4 engine. Ah, oh, look at that M4. <laughs> That's so good. Ah, oh, and it's got the little um. Oh. Right, um, so that's control. Interesting. Uh, we've got the, on the left there the green Black Hawk Down style uh, body indicators for health. Right, so hang on. Ah, you've gone Z and X like armor. Interesting. Which is just as well, because I'm starting to get used to Z and X like armor. So that's interesting. Does it have... Oh, it doesn't have the little side scope like Delta Force. Okay, yeah. Oh... These old assets, man, because you don't really see them. The game, what I like about this, it doesn't try to be anything special, graphic, like, not graphically, but the, the Delta Force maps were just, like I said, terrain with shit placed on them. And it was so good. People made, like, walls and mazes, skyboxes, and you had all of these assets. You, you as a, any old Delta Force players will agree with me, you, rec you know every asset. Is this the little concrete bunker as well? No way. Yeah, you had that big one. You had this little... It is as well. We, uh, Delta Force wasn't a great game. It, oh, it didn't have the little thing in the middle, but it was like this. Yes. Oh, honestly, I've got so much. It's oozing out of me with the nostalgia. L yeah, because... Yes. Oh, fucking hell. All right. <laughs> that was a bit strong. Bots, come on now. I think I saw this on the forum that people were saying the bots were extreme. The sounds are quite loud. I might have to crank that down. Uh, the master sound, because the, the guns are incredibly loud. Uh, so let me just do that for you folks. Uh, on the fly here. Uh, audio. Unlike the original Delta Forces, we can change stuff on the fly. Oh no, hang on. Apply. It's very mobile game, this this like the menus and stuff, but it's it's made by one dude. I think it's made by one dude. I, I would hate to get that wrong. Uh, I would be a, simply aghast with myself. But no, this M4 was worth the price of admission alone. To be running around on these what some could say shit basic looking maps, but honestly, all these all the old Delta Force fans are gonna cream at this like I have. I'm ten years old again playing Delta Force 2 on my CD that my friend gave me before we had Steam. Jesus, who is? That is quite extreme. So shift is walk. But yeah, uh, I keep repeating myself, but this is what Delta Force maps were. You had, yeah, we've got walls, we've got these buildings. Hey, this is the building. Again, from Delta Force, I, there was like a medieval... Uh, like Grecian building, can we not go in? That had stairs on. I yes, I've, I saw this map on the map preview screen, uh, and I thought, is that going to be the building that I know? And it does seem very similar. So, oh, very good. Uh, and some kind of Black Hawk Down style building here. I noticed that uh, it's on full auto. Uh, people used to use single shot in Delta Force because the latency of Delta Force was dreadful. So that's cool. I appear to be capping. I'm in the zone. Oh no, is it Tikoff? Ah, right. I think it's Team King of the Hill. Doesn't actually say. So this was a very famous mode back in the day. Uh, Tikoff. Where you just hold a position. Oh wow, that's a quick uh, time to kill. So let me have a look around so we're not uh, going to be all miserable that I'm sitting at a corner like I'm an absolute mentalist. Uh, we're meant to be doing a review here. Yes, oh, honestly, Delta Force in 2020, that's what I'm going to make this video called, because uh, I, I will cut this up for YouTube. And yeah, uh, who who knew waking up early would uh, save me doing a job? I was going to do this professionally uh, offline, review this game. Unfortunately, there are no players, folks. <laughs> oh hell yeah man Ooh, nice keep that zone locked down so we've captured it we've got to hold it oh mate blimey they're absolutely mental right so respawn uh, unfortunately this is only this is all I can show you I do have like a little armory thing ah yes it's, so 
that's how it used to work as well. Yeah, you'd have the armory and people used to try and blow up the armories in Delta Force 2. I don't... Did we have armories in Delta Force 1? We must have done. Oh, I really hope this game takes off because that's just so... This is so nice. Not many weapons. That's perfectly fine. That's how it was. Uh, it's not good to go back in time. But to see that kind of thing in video games, these retrospective style games clear names above your friends friendly players big open maps uh, huge ass terrain i very much approve of this game uh, the only downside is there's no players but uh, this is why i wanted to get it out there because if you're an old crotchety millennial like myself and you played those nova logic games back in the day this is the 2021, because we're sure as hell not going to be getting anything from Nova Logic, I can assure you. But yeah, it seems the bots are a little bit hard. I'm going to go back, because there's not much more I can show you, unfortunately. With no real players, I can't give you a, a sense of how it is. Uh, yeah, oh, that's so unfortunate. It really is. Uh, look, I'll just have a quick look. So, yeah, Delta Force in 2020. I've seen this airbase, a lot of people have done that one. Desert Valley, CQB. It looks to be the same buildings as before. Oh no, have they actually... There used to be white buildings uh, in Delta Force, didn't they? I do a couple of bots. Yeah, the ladders, honestly. I don't know, there, there may well have been. I'm, I'm very in deep when I'm talking Delta Force 1 and 2 assets. No, I think there was, I recognise these little woody bits. I'm very certain these were, so these might be callbacks again. Uh, decent looking map, to be fair. I don't recall there being a big one, though, honestly. I haven't played Delta Force for years, so my memory is rusty. I wonder if they'll bring bring back the blue trucks and stuff. Uh, honestly, I'm very I'm, I'm very happy that this exists. This game, I, I wish the creator all the best. Uh, so there's two bots. Uh, do I have? Oh, there's only one bot apparently. Uh, so yeah, uh, here we are. I'm in the zone. I'm capping again. Unfortunately, it's whoa, just a British man running around doing nothing. Very simple mechanics, uh, quick time to kill, uh, you get your health on the left there, but yeah, I, if you play Delta Force folks and you've got a few pennies to spend, support this developer and get the player base up because there's no one playing. If you look at a game and you think, oh there's no players, it's because everyone's done the same thing and not bought the game. But that's all I can show you folks because we're going to be looking at me running around getting insta-sniped by a bot currently. The game is heavily in development right now. Uh, I've been I've been checking the, the, the Discord and, you know, it's been very honest and open. So if you want Delta Force style games in 2020 and beyond, uh, support this because Nova Logic aren't going to because they don't really exist anymore. Uh, if Yeah, Black Hawk down. Simple, no... What we'll call no BS... Uh, simple gameplay, Team King of the Hill, custom map support. I've I've spoken to the people in Discord, and that will be a thing. So hopefully we can get those big maps where we just place buildings on. It sounds basic because that's what Delta Force was, and it was absolutely grand. And yeah, that's all I have to say about it. I, I can't play online because there's no players. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, this quick look at. Delta Force in 2020, that tip of the needle, point of the spear, dog in the biscuit bowl, it's very linear. Yeah, tip of the, whatever, whatever this game is called, I, I'm not professional. It's cool. But that's all I can show you right now. Uh, main menu, please, there we go. Click, click. I would love to, I would love to play with real people on the battlefield. Tip of the hat, yes, tip of the fedora. Uh, Task, tip of the spear, Task Force Elite. There you go. Uh, buy this game. Is it good? Yes.